Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the topic Decal Structure Use of a Single Pass Microprocessor. In last lecture, we have studied how the single pass microprocessor will work. Now, in this lecture, we have studied the data structure useful for the single pass microprocessor. So, the data structure is a Google Media. There are three main data structures involved in the one pass microprocessor. So, basically, one pass microprocessor contains DF table, after that, NAM table and ARG table. DEF table is nothing but the definition table which can actually prove the micro definition including micro prototype and the micro block. It will also contain the different types of the references to the micro instruction parameter which are useful for converting the positional notation to the for the efficiency in a substituting argument. But from the definition table, micro definition table comments are only. Second one is nothing but the NAM table which specify the name of that particular micro. We store the different micro names which serve an index of the definition table contain pointer to the beginning and the end of the definition. Third table is nothing but the ARG table which is useful for showing the micro invocation arguments present into that particular micro invocation statement. All that arguments are stored in this table according to their positions in the argument list. So this is nothing but the data structure with the global variable used for the one part microprocessor. So now the data structure, how does the actual that data structure is shown is as shown in the slide. In this figure, as we have discussed, the name table, definition table, and arguments tables are present. So this is nothing but the name table, definition table, and argument table. In this, the name table contains the pointer to the definition table start as well as definition table end. So the micro name are entered into the NAM table, that is nothing but the name table contain the two pointers beginning and end to the definition of the definition table. The third data structure is an argument table, which is used within the expansion of micro innovation. The arguments are stored into the argument table according to the position of the argument list. So what is the uh, position of that argument into the list as per that, that particular argument are stored. So just to look at the definition table, definition contain, the table contains the micro name as the RD buff. So that RD buff is uh, contained into the name table as the name table contains the micro name. So that's why that name is contained. And that name contains the two space, first for the starting of that particular macro and second for the ending of that particular macro. After that, into that definition, we have searched different types of the argument. So first argument into that is nothing but the F1, which is stored into the uh, argument table, then the buffer, and third one is the length. So these are three argument entries stored into the argument table. So the algorithm for the procedure defined for the procedure expansion and procedure guidelines are this. Procedure defined can call in the beginning of micro. When the procedure is called, that is nothing but the beginning of that micro definition is recognized and make it appropriate in key in the definition table and as well as name table. After that, procedure expanded. So when the procedure is expanded, it is called to set up the argument value in the argument table and expand the micro invocation state. After that, procedure get line is useful for getting the next line for the process. So in this way, the data structure for the single pass microprocessor is formed. 